What's up card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central coming at you with a Shaharlet Darkness deck profile. Stand up! Vanguard! For our starter, we run this bat like creature. Uh Worf Leader Ordonas, whatever his name is. Skill is uh soul is not soul blast. It's counter blast one. Put into soul. If you have six or more, you get to draw a card, so, and then you soul charge two. So, in turn, you're soul charging three with this guy, which is fantastic. So, that is our starter. Then, in our deck, we run two, Enigmatic Assassin. Uh, this card is super broken, to be honest, because you just call it out during, like, your uh, Chairman Stride or your uh, Guard Restrict guy. Put it behind Van. If you have 15 or more... It's like a 20k booster, basically. So that's why Enigmatic Assassin is fantastic. And we run, we could run more than two if we wanted to, but for now we run three. For, uh, we run, yeah, we run two, not three, sorry. For our grade threes, run four of Shaharlet Vampire on strike skill. Um, Counter Blast one, Soul Charge two. And then when it attacks, if you have six or more, your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires. Uh, GB2 skill, um, what is it, 10 or more, plus 10k and crit. So, pretty decent. Uh, then we, for other grade 3, run 2 of Bland Cell Vampire. Uh, Darkness ability, uh, what is it, On Ride. It's a CB1, look at the top 5, search up to... Search up to five cards with darkness, put them into your soul, put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order, and then it gets plus one thousand for each of uh, each of the cards placed into your soul. So we run two, and then we run two Blade Wing Sullivan. Uh, depending on the matchup, we could switch into this guy and create more uh, defensive plays in case we're gonna die, uh, like Soul Blasting two, and giving plus ten k to whatever's in the Guardian Circle. So those are our grade threes. Then we run three, Flying Librarian, uh, for the extra soul charging uh, shenanigans during GB, and to draw a card, right? Does this draw a card? Yeah. yeah. And then four of something vampire, Do oh, doppel vampire. And then uh, when it has six or more in your soul, gain plus 5k, and if you have 15, 15 or more, your opponent can't guard it with zeros, so you have to PG this guy if he gets stands or crit, you know, makes him even more deadly. Then we run four of the new card, something Executioner, uh, skill on place. You can search up to top seven and add a card with darkness into the soul. Um, other skill is to, huh? Oh, other skill is CB1, um, gives it plus, plus 5k. Um, starting off with our grade ones, we have four Succubus of Avarice. Um, this is the better PG to run in this deck because um, when I ran the PGG, uh, the Unflipper, I just never saw it because with my luck, I always get it into the into the soul or into damage. So I had to switch to these, and these have been so much better because I'm able to retire. Um, what is it? Retire stuff. Yeah, retire one. retire one and then return it to my hand, which is fantastic. Um, so it helps out a lot. Add some, add some more consistency to defensive plays. Then we have four of our stride fodder, and then four of this guy. Um, skill is darkness. If the number of cards in your soul is ten or more, this unit gets plus two. So the number of cards in your soul is 15 or more, then it gets this skill. If you retire it, um, you return everything except for 13 cards into your deck. So you can just, like, earlier our friend, he had, like, 18 cards. He returned five triggers into his deck. So that was pretty broken uh, from his soul charge. Next, we run four of these crits that uh, go into soul and draw one. Uh, one eye succubus and then another four different uh, crits. Kind of ugly girl or something. Some what a monk. 
Whatever that is, ugly. Four heel. A cute little uh, devil heel in the bathroom. And then four of the wonderful stand triggers. Um, Mono Kitty of Nightmare Land, whatever. But this card is broken because it goes back to the tier deck. You soul charge, unflip, and draw a card. That's freaking dumb. Because stands later in game are deadly. You get to draw, you get to fill soul and unflip. What? You can fill charge to draw trigger. Yeah, whatever. But the stand is so nice. The stand is so nice. It's a kitty. It's a kitty. For our G guards, we have two of the Fighters Collection. Soul Charge 2 gives plus 5k if there is six or more. Really consistent, helps accelerate the deck, especially if you're not uh, first in striding. Then we have two of the new dude, um, Saint German or whatever. Uh, basically, if it's plus 10 or more, gets plus 10k, and if it has 15, you can give one of your units resist. Uh, not the greatest, but it's good enough. Gives you enough um, later in game so your stuff doesn't die. So it takes the place of Dismal. But, you know, it's it's not as good as Dismal as to where you have to worry about your soul every single play, right? Uh, next, for our offensive strides, we have four of Chairman. Um, you guys know what this does. 15 or more. Gets guard restrict and a crit and plus 10k, so super free, easy. Uh, get enigmatic assassin, swing for 56 for funsies, and you can win the game with this guy. So, really, really good, obviously. Oh, wait, I put the SPs out of order. Uh, so, it's right here boom, two SPs, and then two regular ones. Uh, next, we have two of the new Shahararat dude that retires the whole field. Uh, if he has 10 or more, and then when's the game plus 10? If you have 15, if you have 15, you can, you, well, you retire everything, get plus 10, and then you get guard restrict. So this guy can definitely seal games if your opponent is at 5. Two of this Frenzy Ericus guy. Um, all I know is that when he attacks, uh, you soul charge 2, and if you hit, you, uh, get to retire more stuff. Um, your your G unit or your grade 3 retire so you get 2 if you hit with this guy. So not bad at all. And then um, one of Lord Temptus kill Lyra uh, for the draw if it's hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, soul charge and draw because there's not really much else. And then Frederick um, I'm not sure if anyone goes into this guy, so I'm not even gonna really <laughs> explain it. It's too long. Uh, sea Breeze. Uh, people who stick on grade 2. And Tybalt uh, for that Blade Wing, so we can get to 15 soul fast and give uh, get a really high uh, front row. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. If there's any suggestions, please, please let us know down in the comments. Um, the deck is kind of slow, you know, it's hard to just like soul charge everything and then get to a reasonable area where you're uh, putting on a lot of pressure, but it's super fun, you know, darkness, who turn out the lights and you win. Um, otherwise, you know, chairman to the face, your harlot to the face, super duper consistent and with enigmatic assassin who comes out of nowhere almost every single time, uh, really, really clutch. Um, but yeah. The deck is fun, so I hope you enjoyed. Vanguard Central, out.